Hi there, mateys. It's Raina from Kidmo Book Club. And today I have a story about a pirate on the high seas. But before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Jada and Nyla. And I can't wait to read to your class tomorrow. Now, if you have a shout out for a child in your life, just leave me a message in the comment section and I will be sure to add them in an upcoming video. Today's book is called Pirate Nell's Tale to Tell. And if you've got a copy of this book, go get it so you can read it aloud with me. Here we go. Pirate Nell's Tale to Tell. Written by Helen Dougherty and Thomas Dougherty. Read with permission from the authors. The day Nell joined the pirate crew was full of hope. A dream come true. For great adventures filled her head from every tale she'd ever read. Nell wondered what she ought to pack. Of course, her pirate's almanac. It taught her all she'd need to know from how to steer to how to row, which way was east and which was west. But Captain Nash was not impressed. An almanac, he curled his lip. No time for reading on this ship. The other pirates warmed to Nell. They loved the stories she would tell of buried chests and treasure maps, ferocious storms and thunderclaps, of daring rescues out at sea, but sadly, in reality, Nell's days were filled with boring chores, like scrubbing pots and mopping floors. While Captain Nash snapped with a sneer, you've missed some bird poop over here. One night, Nell found it hard to sleep. She gazed into the ocean deep, then closed her eyes and made a wish. At once, she saw a school of fish, all dancing, leaping, filled with light, guiding something through the night. Nell gasped. Is that for me? She cried. A bottle with a map inside? An island shaped like this, but where? A secret treasure buried there. Adventure lie ahead, it seemed, and through the starry night Nell dreamed. But when she woke at break of day, Nell's dreams were cruelly snatched away. Her map was gone, and in its place, she saw the captain's puzzled face. What's this? he ordered with a frown. I think, said Nell, it's upside down. Don't tell me how to read a map, you good-for-nothing whippersnap. There's treasure here, that's plain to see. And don't forget, it's all for me. They sailed due east, the sky was red. Nell warned there might be storms ahead. But Captain Nash's greedy eyes were firmly focused on his prize. The clouds grew dark, the waves rose high. A sheet of lightning lit the sky. Then Captain Nash, who clutched the map, was startled by a thunderclap. He lost his balance, slipped and fell, head first into the stormy swell. Nell grabbed a float, then with a splash, she dived in after Captain Nash. The waves were wild, the current strong. Nell knew she didn't have that long. With luck, she studied what to do in Saving Lives, page 42. No sooner had she hauled him out, Nell heard the other pirate shout. Oh no! The ship had headed towards a line of rocks like jagged swords. Nell seized the wheel and deftly steered, and all the other pirates cheered. 
She led them safely through the storm. The sea grew calm. The air grew warm. The treasure map was barely dry when something distant caught Nell's eye. Some craggy cliffs, a sandy shore, the island they'd been searching for. With map in hand, Nell led the way to where the buried treasure lay. The pirates dug beneath the ground. Not one but twenty chests they found. What treasure lay inside unclaimed? Well, bless my bootstraps, Nell exclaimed. The crew exchanged bewildered looks. So where's the treasure? These are books. Nell told them what she'd known for ages. There's treasure right here in these pages. These books are like a magic key to other worlds beyond the sea. They'll whiz you off to places new. They'll make you gasp and giggle too. They teach you things you never knew. She's right, you know, the captain said. Without Nell's book, we might be dead. I'll teach you all to read," said Nell. "Then you can read these books as well." And being Nell, she kept her word. She even opened, so I've heard, a library floating on the sea, that lends out books to all for free. And Captain Nash, he's changed his ways. For now, he likes to spend his days devouring stories back to back, or studying Nell's almanac. I really hope you enjoyed our story today. And if you want to get more stories like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you're informed when a new video drops. See you next time.